All right, guys, part six begins. As you see, we got this whole side now done and painted up. It's all actually painted outdoors. Here's a beautiful stove waiting installation. And we got this inside room done as well. We used up all the leftover pieces of plywood to fill this, which was a pain. But with the prices of plywood going up every single week, you know, you gotta save a buck where you can. So today, we are installing the vapor barrier and then we're going to start tiling up the floor which is going to be the hardy backer boards and then some ceramic tiles so vapor barrier it's going to be installed this is pretty thick solid it's not going to, this is not going to tear you got to cut this um got picked it up on amazon here's the specs on it radiantguard.com and we got a 500 square foot roll. We're hoping this is gonna fill this room. Ceiling walls and so on. So we'll show you how this goes. Stay tuned. So we're pre-cutting a piece to cover the ceiling and both sides of the wall end to end, hopefully not have any seams. If that doesn't work, we'll cut into three pieces. But just having this out in the sun right now, the reflection is so crazy. I can feel that heat on me. So this stuff is definitely gonna do the job uh, keeping the heat in. So let's get this installed. So here it is guys, we did cut it. The long piece that we wanted to go all the way around was just too much to work with, even for two people. So we pe we're piecing it out. Um, but yeah, very simple. We're using this aluminum tape to adhere it. You can also staple it, but for now we're holding off the staples not to make any unnecessary holes. Um, yeah, we'll show you progress in a minute. All right, so we got the first round done. All the way around. We did the walls first and the ceiling overlapped it, taped it all. And then we'll continue and then do the walls. All right, guys, we got the inside all insulated. Uh, and you get any light in here, it's so bright. Plus, this really holds the heat in and keeps it out. So, yeah, this stuff. Like, we taped all the edges so there is no uh, air pockets, you know. I mean, any holes for water moisture and stuff to get through. So that roll that we got was more than enough. We still have a lot left over to do this room. We ran out of the tape though, so I'm gonna get a little more to do some touch-ups here. But yeah, it's, we strongly recommend this uh, vapor barrier. This stuff is strong. This will not rip. We gotta cut it. Now we're gonna do the hardy backer floor, and then at some point start the tiles. Alrighty. All right guys, so for the subfloor, before we put the tiles, we're using the cement boards. These are the quarter inch, that's more than enough. Um, no magic to this. You just gotta use this type of screws for it. One and five eighths we got here. Um, that uses a special base tape. And you know, this thing will hold it down. It's gonna provide a nice solid base for the tiles. I love home rides. Yeah. What this up? fun, almost <laughs> done. <laughs> And yeah, so we'll get this done and then we'll show you how it works. All right, guys, we got the floor ready for tiles, holy back of cement boards, all done and installed. It's starting to look like something now. Insulation looks great, the view is still here. And yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, please subscribe so you can see what's going on next. Uh, we're gonna start the Thailand uh, next week and uh, see where that takes us. And yeah, guys.
So we got some crazy rain right now, but that's not stopping us. We're tiling the floors now. So we'll show how this comes out in a second. So hey guys, here's the tiles. Um, we started in the corner uh, where the stove is going to be as that's going to be the focal point the whole time, right? So we wanted to have full pieces there. The bench will be across the wall back there. So if it's half tile or whatever, it's not a big deal. Uh, we found these tiles, how much Home, home Depot, Roma? Like 40 cents or 60 cents? Yeah, 60 cents. Basic ceramic tiles, nothing fancy, but this stuff is strong. It's going to hold up just fine. Um, so we're gonna lay all this out, show you guys the finished product, and then we can finally start doing the walls with some cedar or pine or whatever we're gonna go for, whatever's affordable in 2021. <laughs> Thank you. Producer Roman. All right, guys, we are done for today. So we didn't have enough cement to finish this but we did get this section tiled out. So, here's the view, it's still there. Uh, insulation, we threw extra few staples on here just to hold it, especially the ceiling, before we get to the wood. And the vent is gonna go there, as in the picture I showed earlier. And yeah, we're gonna finish this up. We're gonna grout it. And then the next video, we're gonna get to the installing the stove, the exhaust up top here, and then the wood. So maybe one or two more videos, guys, and we are there. Thank you for watching. Please follow for more. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up. And yeah, we're almost there, guys. Producer Roman, an assistant. <laughs>